I'd like to report a crime that hasn't happened yet. Have you seen the movie Back to the Future? Basically, I'm living that movie right now, which is how I know there's going to be a murder tonight. <laughs> Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. Both the slasher and the time travel movie are well-trodden ground where cinema's concerned. It's a challenge, then, to create new films in those genres that are unpredictable and fresh. Blumhouse's Totally Killer doesn't quite achieve that, but it mixes the narratives of familiar films in both genres, namely Happy Death Day and Back to the Future, to create something that's just pure fun. Kin and Shipka's Jamie lives in a small town where everyone knows everyone, and no one's gotten over the three gruesome murders of teenage girls that occurred 35 years ago in 1987. Murder tours are given, true crime podcasts are recorded, which provides the opening narration and initial exposition of the film, and on Halloween night, the killer returns to claim a false victim. Luckily, Jamie just happens to have a friend who successfully invented time travel. Lucky that. And when she comes face to face with the masked murderer, she jumps into the time machine, which takes her back to the day of the first killing. With the help of her teenage mum and her friends, who are often as much a hindrance as they are helpful, she plans to stop the killer before he ever begins his spree. Even during the present day preamble, Totally Killer has everything you could hope for in a slasher. It's set at Halloween, the town has a spooky abandoned theme park with creepy animatronics, and the killer has deep Michael Myers-esque breathing. Like Scream, which it does directly reference, it's also an interesting whodunit that isn't too predictable and presents plenty of red herrings to throw us off the scent. Being mostly set in 1987, it also has a dose of 80s flair. That means bright colours, perms, shell suits, but the screenplay, which is penned by David Matalon, Sasha Pearl Raver, and Hocus Pocus 2 co-writer Jen D'Angelo, it also acknowledges some of the more negative cultural differences between then and now. There are no rose-tinted glasses being worn here. But there are times when the screenwriters don't seem too impressed with the politics of today's young people either. Jamie's sometimes written to be woke in a way that seems frustratingly mocking and disdainful. Other than that, Shipka gets to have fun playing a moody teenager stuck in a fish-out-of-water scenario, and in the 80s, she's surrounded by over-the-top characters. The supporting players, namely her mother Pam and her friends, are largely stereotypes, but they're amusingly played with a lot of enthusiasm by Olivia Holt, Steffi Salvo, Ana Diaz, and Liana Liberato. Liberato especially is making her case for becoming a modern-day Scream Queen after also appearing in Scream 6 earlier this year. The movie's time travel elements create a lot of its comedy, as Jamie's experience gets an added layer of cringe by finding out what her parents were like as teenagers. It also keeps things relatively unpredictable, as in classic time travel fashion, Jamie's presence changes things and nothing happens in the way that it's meant to. The downside is that Totally Killer does reference its biggest influences, and in doing so, it signposts the way the story's going a little bit too clearly. Like the Scream series, it's a great slasher whodunit, and the sci-fi elements are fun, but as a horror film, diehard genre fans may find it lacking. There's little in the way of true scares, and not that many jump scares either. As I mentioned earlier, it's hard to make a slasher that doesn't retread familiar ground, but Scream 6 proved that the genre can still be updated. It pushed the boat out with its kills, some of which were much gorier than usual. Totally Killer fails to be innovative in that same way, but it does tick all of the usual boxes you'd expect for a sci-fi horror mashup, and it does so while being a really fun watch. This one's a high three stars. <laughs>